Uh, with us all, we are specialists in industrial dust fences. These are wind fences up to 100 feet high and many miles long, designed to keep dust on stockpiles. We're also specialists in agricultural structures, wind fences and also hail nets to keep hail off crops. Today we're putting those two pieces together and we're putting them together for automobiles. So we're creating a hail canopy for automobiles. We've been engineering them and testing them in our lab, but now we need to test them full scale, real life. Unfortunately, it's BC and we can't always dial up hail when we need it, but in our case we have 9,000 golf balls and we're going to use those instead. A golf ball is a similar density to hail and also a similar size to a fairly common destructive hail. So it's the perfect thing to drop from the sky and cause destruction and mayhem. Well, in this particular case, to intercept it with a hail net and show that a hail net is a reliable way of protecting your automobile when those thunderstorms strike. So what you've just seen is thousands of golf balls landing on a net. Clearly no hailstorm ever looks like that. But nevertheless, it's a very simple way of demonstrating that this net is spectacularly good at handling impact loads from these heavy weights falling from the sky. The question now is, what would have happened if that net hadn't been there? Sure, you might never have a hailstorm like this, but just if you did, what would it look like? we have shown is that a hailstorm of the very worst type that you could possibly imagine isn't enough to damage the net, isn't enough to damage your cars if they're underneath it. In other words, tonight when you go to bed, think about how much easier it would be to sleep if you knew that your cars were protected with a hail canopy from weather solve. <laughs>